Welcome back to another episode of WTF. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts playing across festival season 2020. In today's episode, we're looking at the iconic, the up and coming, the thoroughly interesting Fontaine's DC. They're a post-punk band based out of Dublin in Ireland. If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the f Fontaine's DC? What's really going on? What's really going on? Tom, Grian, Connor, Connor and Carlos are the five members that make up Fontaine's DC. They're a post-punk band based out of Dublin, actually based in the... We'll get on to that in a minute. With tracks like Hurricane Laughter, they remind me so much of bands like the Stooges. They definitely have a bit of a Iggy Pop input, that's for sure. I think it would be really easy to draw comparisons between them and the Pogues. They're both very inspired by poetry. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. I think you also got people like Joy Division. <laughs> and newer bands, I'd be, I'd be put comparing them to people like the Murder Capital. I am a blissless star corroding through the core. Shame. And Idols. Idols and Shame are two of the bands that they actually went touring with previously, so I think that's like an, an easy connection to make between them. They got their name from the character in The Godfather, Johnny Fontaine. Added the initials DC after they got threatened legally, so they added DC, which stands for Dublin City. They released their first single, Liberty Bell. You know I love that violence that you get around here, that kind of ready, steady violence. As an homage to Liberties, where they're from in Dublin. Famously, it's the part of Dublin where the Guinness factory is as well, or Guinness Brewery. I was there literally about four, four weeks ago. It was an absolutely amazing part of, uh, part of the city. They then followed this up with the split single, Hurricane Laughter and Winter in the Sun. Hurricane Laughter. In 2018, they followed up with another split single, Checkless, Reckless, and Boys in the Better Land. It was at this point they really started to gain traction, especially with records like Boys in the Better Land, which were going to be a bit of a smells like teen spirit for them. They would then go on to play in, in studio for KEXP, I think that's a radio station, in Seattle, a set that included all of the previous singles and the addition of a newest song, Big, gaining them loads of publicity across America. And in late 2018, they signed with Partisan Records. Partisan is an independent record label based out of London, Los Angeles, and New York City. Other artists include E-Girls, Cigarettes After Sex, Fella Cootie, and the legendary Idols. They then released the record Too Real. The music video for Too Real was directed by frequent collaborator Hugh Mullum, and is reportedly inspired by the Pogue's 1985 record A Pair of Brown Eyes. Both music videos heavily feature eyes. It was at this point that they received they received some funding from the Irish Arts Council and a grant from Art, RTE Two FM, which allowed them to tour internationally. And it was last year in 2019 that I came across them with their record Boys in the Battleland. After my dad sent it to me, I also know they got some serious recommendations from people at Radio One. In April, they released their debut album Dog Roll. The title Doggerel is an homage, homage to Doggerel, which is a working class Irish poetry, poetry of the people. It dates back to the 1600s. The album included all of the previous singles that we've mentioned above, and the newest records are Television Screens, Roy's Tune, Sha Sha Sha, The Lots, and Dublin City Sky. The artwork for the album is a picture of by Bruce Davidson and is taken from a circus in Ireland in the 50s. The circus is called Duffy's. The band wanted to 
Find old images of Ireland that encapsulate a time or a character. If you look at all of the singles prior to Dog Rule, you'll see that they're all old photographs and they're all of places in Ireland or people in Ireland and they wanted to use artwork that encapsulates the facade of performance versus reality. Dog Roll was nominated for the Mercury Music Prize in 2018 alongside fellow artists Slow Tie, Foles, and 1975 and Idols, all of them losing out to Dave's psychodrama. However, Dog Roll did very well last year. It was so well received by critics. It was album of the year from independent record store Rough Trade and BBC Radio 6 Music. November of last year, they released the Darklands version of some of the singles. They released they released it on vinyl. A selection of original seven inch singles recorded at the Darklands Studios in Dublin. And Darklands version of Boys in the Better Land, which was released prior to that coming out, has had over 799,000 views on YouTube to date. That might be 800 by this point. I've listened to it quite a lot over the last few days. This is the band's first time playing Reading and Leeds. They're taking to the Radio 1 stage on the Saturday at Reading, Sunday at Leeds. Currently third from top. I'm not sure how accurate that is. We do have some more names to be announced. I'd imagine they probably will be. They're a massive band, but we do have a couple more bands to be announced on the R1 stage. Lilyhood to see, you know, I, I, I thought that they were a one-hit wonder band. I'll be completely honest. I I heard Boys in the Better Land. It was the only song that they ever played anywhere. When it played the Mercury's, they played it. When they played on Radio 1, that's what they played. When they played on Jimmy Fallon, that's what they played. That, that's literally like the song that anyone ever played about them. And I just thought, why are they getting all this attention? I don't really get it. Through doing this research, I, I literally was listening to all the singles in order, and then I went, I'm just gonna listen to the album. Because it's all the singles I know. It's not like it's gonna be too hard. And fuck me, is it good. It is proper, proper good. Like, really, really good. I can't believe that I slept on it last year. It's such a great album. It's such a unique sound. And whilst I thought they were just a bunch of miserable artists that are trying to act all punk, I think probably they are a bunch of artists that are quite punk. And what you have is this really amazing display of like raw emotion, but not in like, a, not aggressively told. It's it's so much more than that. It's such a good record. I really, really, really love it. And I highly, highly recommend checking it out. For anyone that's a fan of Shame or Idols or the Murder Capital or any of those kind of British punk bands that are just blowing up at the moment. Foles, if you like Foles, any of those kind of heavier indie bands like the Amazons or Royal Blood, this is definitely one to add to your radar. And so I think it's very, very unlikely that I'm going to miss this. So we're going to go for one of those on the Lightly to See scale. What do you think? Have you seen Fontaine's DC perform before? Are you going to be checking them out at this year's festival? Or are you going to see them at another festival this year? Just what do you think? Were you like me? Have, like, did I get this wrong? Did I just sleep on them? I think Boys in the Better Land's a great record. I don't think it's their best record. I think it's great. I don't think it's their best. And I'd love to know what you have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. Hey, just a little thing to add on the end here. So, I've just signed up for the Reading and Leeds Ambassador Scheme. And what that means is that if you want discounted tickets for Reading or Leeds, the weekend or early entry, drop me a little message somewhere on, on social media that all of my details are in the in the description below. I, I basically get to offer anyone that watches this and wants like, I don't know, I think it's like a five, 10 quid off, uh, then you can book it. I think it's five quid. I think it's five quid, but it's better than paying an extra five quid, right? Uh, you know. The other benefit is, is that you support this channel. The more people that buy tickets through this system, the more that I can give back to this channel. I do all of this for free because I love doing it and it's great fun. Sometimes it's an advert and that really helps me. This means that we can offer some stuff back to you, be that merchandise or, you know, if there's enough people to buy it, then I can happy to give away some free tickets. But the more people that do it, the more people that, that I can offer that to. Just let me know if it's something that's interesting to you and uh, I'm, I'm more than happy to get that arranged. Just drop me a little message on social media and yeah, I'll send you a link. Right, cool. See you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.